Oh my stars, you guys. Welcome to this video. Um, in this one, obviously you can see as from the title that I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. This is kind of in coordination with, um, I'm going to do the Dollar Store Makeup Challenge. I have no idea if that is a thing or if it is, then maybe I should probably Google it to see or YouTube it. <laughs> But um, I have a couple things. I only have two bags here, but there's quite a bit of stuff in each bag. So um, I'm going to start off with like kind of like the not so makeupy items and stuff like that. More of like kid items. So, but the whole reason I went there is to get kid items, and then I just decided I'm as while I was there I was gonna do the dollar store makeup challenge. So the first reason that I went there was to get flashcards for my son Connor. Now he um, was born with. A he was born with a delay, um, so he has a gross motor and a fine motor delay. So with his like speech and other things like that, he doesn't do well with that. So I got some flashcards to do with him, and I was I I kind of really had to dig to find these. These are the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse numbers and counting learning game cards. So that is that one, and then I got colors and shapes. And then I got a one with beginning words flashcards. So far the only word that he says is mama. He really does say mama. It's the only word he says because he really wants to get mommy's attention. So the next thing I got with Easter coming up is these Easter eggs. But they're in the shape of cars. Like, so I like that. That was perfect for little boys. So it comes with nine. No, wait. Eight. <laughs> Eight of them. And then um, I got these. It's a pair. It's uh, th six pairs of socks for a dollar. And it says little girl socks on it. But they're just white. Plain white socks. And so I was like, um, that's silly. Um, they're just white. So I just got them for my son Connor. And then the next thing I got was for my son Oliver. It's for his Easter basket. But it's like a... It lights up, as you can see, and it has like these, uh, should have not hit the ball, but it has like these like strings in there that are iridescent. It's really cute. It's probably freaking out the camera. So, that was a dollar. He, he, I bring him in here while I'm filming, but he's right there. You want to touch this ball? And then... The next thing that I have in here is a couple of books, and every time I go there, I look for these foam books. They're like this special kind of foam. They're like just foam books. Normally, it's like Disney characters. This one's Sesame Street, but that's fine because um, Connor loves books. He absolutely loves them. Um, he could not get enough of books. He can just lay on the ground. Not that he can read, but he just likes to look at the pictures. But since these are foam, they are like really easy for him to touch and they're cardboard so they're kind of more durable than a regular book. So then I got a Big Bird, I got an Elmo, and I got a Cooking Monster. I always look for phone books at the dollar store. And then for Oliver, I got him two books as well. These are, um, they're actually Fisher Price. From the dollar store. I'm not even joking. These are all from the dollar store that I got today. You can see in the vlog that the whole lot debacle trying to get there. But these are just like little um, like plastic books, and they have a squeak in them. So that is one. One is opposites, and one is cookie shapes. So, which is kind of cute. So, and I wish that they had more of these. I looked all over, but they only had the two, the two kinds, so I just got one of each. Alright, now on to the other bag, which is, like, to coincide with the challenge video. Um, first, I got these dividers. Um, these will be perfect for, like, a makeup drawer. They are um, drawer, to, drawer to organizers, and they clip together. And I got three, three for a dollar. And then I also got this bigger one, which is like the same thing but longer. So I got two of those. They came in two in a pack. And then I got this, which I heard for Nell art is nice. It's the um, 
reinforcement um, for like hole punches. So there's like so many in here for a dollar. And I was like, here, let's see. This is how many I got for a dollar. They're kind of, oh, they're nice. They're nice, they're not too sticky at all. They'd be perfect for an L arc. Awesome, cool about those. And now the rest of the stuff in here is makeup. First, I'm gonna show you this. this Last time I went to the dollar store, I got this foundation, the NYC um, Smooth Skin Liquid Foundation. I swear on everything that I have that this was a dollar. <laughs> and so, like, I was like, whoa, okay, that's cool. But when I was there, I was like, why is this here? Why is this a dollar? But if you've ever been to the dollar store, you can pretty much find some pretty cool stuff. Like, when I was there, there was Milani lipsticks, um, NYC. I actually bought an NYC lipstick in here. They had Wet n Wild stuff, they had um, some Sally Hansen nail polish and like the nail um, stickers or like, I don't know, I I have one over here but it's not, well that one wasn't a dollar but it, like the nail stickers or the nail polish decal thing, they had those, the Salon FX ones so, I mean if you're good and you keep your eye out you can find some really cool stuff at the dollar store. So the first thing I got was the LA Colors 6 Color Eyeshadow Palette and it's in hot. That's what it says I think. So that's what I got for the challenge video. I figured these colors were really nice and I really like the kind of purpley taupe color at the bottom. It's more purpley though if you can kind of tell the purple. And then I got two pairs of false locks false lashes because um, they didn't have any mascara and the one that they did have I've tried it before and it is like no good so um, I didn't want to get that so I just got two pairs of false lashes to see which one I could pick but they both come with an adhesive the wet and wild seems a little bit more promising but I did get this at the dollar store so I just feel like people are gonna be like, you couldn't have got that at the dollar store because some of the stuff was there. You're just like, why is this here? So, the next thing I got was a Wet n Wild brush. It's an eyeshadow brush. I'm trying to use as much stuff as I can from the dollar store. And then I got the um, Wet n Wild eyeshadow in brulee. So that's at the dollar store right now. It says cruelty free right on it. Both all the Wet n Wild stuff says cruelty free on it. And then for my lip products, I got this NYC Expert Last Lip Color in Bury Me. And then I got an e.l.f. Um, lip, lip Balm Tint in Grapefruit. So that is what I got at the dollar store. I, I love going there. <laughs> If you guys have done any dollar store hauls or anything like that or have any challenges that you want to see, go ahead and link, leave a comment below and I will see what I can do. Or, or... The dollar store makeup challenge will be up after this video. Um, so when it is up, I will link it down below to, so you guys can just, if you're already watching this and you want to see, but if you're... I haven't filmed it yet obviously it won't be there but I am really excited to actually film that video to get it up and see what we come up with because I the only one thing I don't have is a powder <laughs> stay tuned for the dollar store challenge I hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching this video have a great day guys bye to let your star shine have a great day guys bye <laughs>